Hey guys, this is Iggy with Dragon Blogger back again. So I'm going to show you a little bit on how to install Windows on your new Patriot Ignite 480GB SSD. There's a few things you would want to do first. First off, I would recommend disconnecting every other hard drive you have in your system. That way you don't, by mistake, erase a hard drive. It's happened to me many times. Second, I do recommend booting into your BIOS. And then when you're in your BIOS, in my BIOS I have to enter the advanced mode but then you would go into your boot section mind you every bias is going to be pretty much different for every different board so then you're going to go into your hard drive uh, boot priorities from here we can select any drive but we're going to select the Patriot Ignite drive after that, we're going to go into the boot options priorities, and then from here, we can make sure that our Patriot Ignite is here. Since I'm going to be installing from DVD though, I could always select the DVD drive, and then my next drive be the Patriot. But what I'm going to do here is just hit F10 to save and exit to make the Patriot drive the first drive. And then after my BIOS, I'm going to go ahead and hit F8 on my keyboard to bring up my boot menu. So now this is... Okay, and then from here, I'm going to select my DVD drive. Not every board is going to have this boot menu. For some, it's F4. It's different for a lot of boards as well. So I'm going to select the DVD drive. All right, so then from this point, we're going to select Next. Now, mind you, at this screen, in case your installation has become corrupt, you can always boot to this and then repair your computer, but for this purpose we're just going to install now. Alright, and then here I enter my key. Alright, so then after you enter your key and hit next, make sure you read the license terms. I always read them really quickly. And then click I accept the license term and next. And oh, I always choose custom install. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit next because I'm going to be installing on this drive. Alright, so now that we've installed, it's going to go ahead and reboot itself. Of course, you can reboot it a few seconds earlier if you just click on it, but I'm patient. Now one thing is a lot of people do this by mistake is if it reboots and it says on the top left hand corner press any key to boot from DVD drive don't do it again just do it one time. I knew a guy that kept doing it repeatedly over and over and over and then finally when we went to him when he came to us saying hey something's wrong we noticed he had like eight different partitions of Windows. Now mind you this was back in Windows XP time but still still funny. Alright, so now we can select our background color. You can choose whatever you like. There's a billion. Um, I'm pretty simple though. Um, choose a little bit dark but still some color in there. I'll probably go for this one. So then I'll go ahead and put whatever name. Alright. I always choose customize. Automatically install important recommended updates. Sure, why not? Automatically get new drivers. No, I'll get them all on my own. Turn on Windows Smart Screen Filter. Sure. Turn on Internet Explorer Smart Screen Filter. Sure. Sure. Mm, okay. By sending URLs webcom. Okay, so they're off. Help Microsoft by responding to malicious apps. No. Help improve. No. Artist. No. No. Good. Use Windows Error Reporting and check for the solution. Sure. 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 enter my username. Hi, how you doing? Ah, okay. 
All right, how do you, how, how do you use it? After your PC is ready. Interesting. God, I hate those charms. All right, so that was a pretty quick and simple install. We can just sele select the desktop here. All right, and we're good to go. Um, of course, this is Windows 8, so you have all this stuff. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and update to Windows 8.1. That is a free update off, the, off of the Windows Store, but I'm not going to bore you with that. That is going to take a while. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how to install Windows 8. And, well, if you have any more questions, let us know at Dragon Blogger. This is Iggy with Dragon Blogger out. See you guys.